Hi there. Today we are going to teach you how to begin the initial programming of your Rainbow Cyrus Central Control. We will run you through how to set up your system settings, area definitions, system data tables, and default system details. The first thing you set up when the program opens for the first time is how the system is going to communicate with the field sprinklers. There are multiple ways the system can communicate, including two wire, link, decoder, ICI control, and wireless heads. Our system is a decoder style system, so we need to select that option. Once you click the decoder system, select the three dots to open its options. There will be the Rainbird switch code already in place. There are additional switch codes available for Toro heads as well. Just click OK to save these changes. Next, we need to input our area definitions. For this example, we want to input greens. Choosing a G from the drop-down menu will help define this area, as well as writing the word greens beside the G. Be careful not to delete this G from the drop-down menu, and continue through till all areas wanted are inputted into this section. The precipitation table comes next, where you will input sprinkler pattern. In this case for greens, we are using square the square pattern, which provides head-to-head -head coverage over the green. Next, you'll do your head spacing, which the number will be shown there, flow in gallons per minute, and the arc. Sprinkler type, we are using the Eagle 700 series for greens with the orange nozzles running at 80 PSI. All of this can be found using the performance chart on the Rainbird website. With all this information in, it will spit out your precipitation rate in inches per hour. Next, we will input our default run times, selecting a run time that is more than one full sprinkler rotation and keeping it as a whole number. Next, we go to the setting, the default sprinkler pairings. For greens, they will be single head control. For example, if it were tees, fairways, or roughs, some might be paired in doubles. Next, you will have to link the precipitation rate from the drop-down table accordingly. Once all this information is placed into the chart, you'll click on the input arrow. It will pop up with a new page, and you will select the all areas, all sub areas, all data, and click OK. You will then close the system setting and select the station details page. In our example, we have five green heads on hole number one. So we will go to the G on the top portion of the page and click it. Since there are five heads on the green number one, you will hit the plus sign five times. From there, you will have the option to change your decoder type. On the far right hand side of the page, you can change the number of heads in the pairings. Thanks for listening. I hope you learned a lot with the Rainbird software.